Okay, we're back. I've got our build plate glass. It's got the Aquanet on there. It's dried. So the last step before we tape this down and really get started is to put some insulation underneath the printer. I highly recommend using cork to do that. Cork is amazing to place underneath the bed. It acts as a insulator. So that heat, instead of coming out top and bottom, will allow your bed to heat faster. I bought a really big roll of this, but you don't have to. Uh, you can go on Amazon, provide some links, and buy small sheets of this stuff. So I'm gonna go grab my roll and cut a piece out, cut out a piece of foam board and stick it in. All right, I'm back. Uh, cleaned up a little bit around the desk here. Uh, so this is the roll of cork that I bought a while ago. Got a piece of foam board. Um, and it turns out the two in combination fit basically perfectly under the build plate. So we're gonna cut these up and put them in for insulation. I'm gonna use the glass as a template for the approximate size that I need to slide underneath, minus a little bit on the edges so that I kind of notch out enough room to fit around the posts for the bed leveling screws. Just kind of mark my edges there with a piece of glass and then grab a ruler. There's our piece of foam board. Now, let's cut off a little bit of this stuff. So I'm just gonna rough cut it off the roll because I don't really wanna take off that zip tie that's holding this roll together. I'm just gonna get roughly what I need off of here. Should be okay. Let's see if I got close. Pretty darn close. Just gonna clean up the edge here. And clean up this far edge here. There we go. Make sure I get all of the dust off the top of the build plate itself. Now, one thing that you'll notice from just cutting the cork is it likes to spread little bits of stuff everywhere. So now we've got our base cut out, um, but the problem is it's gonna be too wide to fit underneath. So the next thing we need to do for, at least for the foam board as kind of the spacer is to cut out both enough room for it to slide in, uh, as well as the cutout for the cable for the heated bed in the back. So I'm just gonna kind of sort of eyeball it and I'm actually gonna cut the board in half uh, that way I don't have to slide it in the entire way. Um, I can kind of put each half in and then set it down. Um, so there's kind of less material waste that way. And it doesn't have to be exact. Uh, again, this is really just so that you can slide it in. And then I'm just gonna cut some real simple notches out of the corner. should give me enough clearance for those posts. There we go. 
And now, actually I am gonna use a, let's see if I can find a pen in here. There's a Sharpie. So I'm just gonna mark uh, where the cutout really needs to be for the heated bed cable. I'm just gonna mark them on the sides like that and then come around to the side and see how far out front it projects and mark that as well. There we go. Okay. So basically what I'm gonna do now is So this needs to go from just about here. I'm just gonna kind of freehand draw this. Um, just kind of starts down here at the bottom and goes over here to the side. something like that, but because I need to slide this into place, what I'm actually gonna do is just cut out this section. And I'm gonna slide it in from the center. Uh, again, I'm just gonna kind of freehand this. It doesn't have to be exact. All, the whole purpose of doing this is really just to um, give us as much insulation as we can get so that the heated bed can heat up faster and can stay at temperature with less effort. Now let's do a little test fit and see how that fits, or if this fits. Give it a go. Looks good. Uh, so next is to see if now we can fit the front piece in as well. And this might be a little bit tighter of a fit. Let's see. So what I'm doing uh, around the edge is I'm using taking advantage of that cutout to actually move the back piece out of place so I can fit the front piece in. And then once they're both underneath the build platform, let's see if they will all fit nicely into place. All right, it looks like it fit in there. Um, just had to adjust to the back piece, kind of pull it off and, and back a little bit so that I could get the front piece in wedged them into place and everything looks like it fits nice and snug. Um, I'll post uh, kind of a simple drawing that you can print out if you want to just put that over the top of a piece of foam board and uh, cut it that way so you don't have to measure everything yourself. Uh, but now we're on to our cork. So for the cork, basically I'm going to do the same thing. Got these pieces cut out and then I just went and took my piece of cork and laid it out and used the foam board as a template to cut it to size as well. So now I have matching pieces and then I'm going to attempt to use double-sided tape just to kind of hold it in place. Uh, it's not really necessary to bond them together but it'll make it easier if I ever do need to take these out and you know mess with them or fix anything uh, on the unit down the road. Plus, theoretically, it should make it a little bit easier to put everything in as well. The main thing with double-sided tape is just making making sure that you have a clean surface to adhere it to, which is why I'm a little bit worried whether or not this will actually stick to the cork at all, just because the cork has all those little pieces
pretty good to me. I think that'll work. Right, let's grab the other piece here. Well, that looks good as well. So now that we've got our sandwich of, um, of pieces, let's put them back in. So put the back piece in first. Just gonna slide it under. And into place. Actually a little bit further than into place. Again, so I can get the, that front piece uh, to go in as well. Let's see if I can get the front in now. Moment of truth. This should be, by design, a pretty tight fit. Yep, it is. So I've got the front in. And now I just need to kind of wiggle these guys around, get them locked into place. There we go. All right. So now we've got our insulation installed underneath the build plate. That should give us really nice uh, efficiency gains with the heated bed. Uh, so the last thing that's left is to tape down the glass build plate and then switch filaments and we'll give a print with ABS a go. So let's go ahead and tape down the build plate here on the back to this cutout area. That shouldn't be any problem at all and it isn't. I'm just going to use the scissors just to bond it as best I can up top there. And then for the side, we're really just putting this on here to kind of aid with holding it in place a little bit. So there we go. So on the sides, I'm just adhering it to the black portion of the build table and curling it up under just a little bit. That should give us plenty of, plenty of surface for it to adhere to. And then let's just grab a couple of a couple more pieces. So now it's on there nice and securely, but it's easy, still easy to get off uh, in case we do need to take it off to clean it or to do any um, any more work to the heated build plate in the future. So yeah, we, we're good to go.